Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about Oregon and uh, the Republican Party up there, the Supreme Court of that state, what they determined and how it's kind of a big deal. Um, and just run through what occurred and why the next election up there, there's going to be a lot of open seats. Okay, so a little bit of background information. One of the things that was going on in Oregon was basically legislatures, legislators would, uh, they just wouldn't show up for work. They'd boycott the session and stop, and stop uh, lawmaking from occurring. The voters did not like this. They passed something called Measure 113 that basically said if you had 10 unexcused absences when it came to the floor, well, you didn't get to run in the next election. That was a, a pretty simple reading of what the measure did. As time went on, the Republican Party didn't like that, so they changed what it meant. They started saying, no, it didn't mean the next election. It meant the one after that. That's the one you can't run for because, you know, that makes sense. Um, they staged one of their little boycotts, and there were 10 lawmakers, 10 Republican lawmakers, that didn't show up for uh, definitely more than 10 days. The, the boycott, the walkout, was six weeks long, which is a record, I think. So they were precluded from running. They took it up to the state Supreme Court, and the state Supreme Court said, no, read it. You don't get to run. So 10 Republican lawmakers are now ineligible to run in the next election. One of the things that uh, becomes pretty apparent very, very quickly when you first start paying attention to politics is that incumbents have an edge, always. Unless they are really, really horrible. And they've been so bad at their job that... There's negative voter turnout, then they have an edge. Ten Republican seats lost that edge. Um, this is going to matter. And now, because they're going to be vacant seats, um, there's probably going to be primaries involved. It's going to be a giant mess because the Republican Party out there, they tried to rule rather than represent. The voters passed Measure 113. They passed that. And they made it very clear what they expected. And the representatives were like, no, that doesn't apply to me. I cannot show up for work and keep my job. I'm not like you commoners. I get to do whatever I want. The uh, state Supreme Court decided no. What the voters intended is what's going to happen. You, in fact, do not get to keep your job. Um, I would like it, it kind of remembered that that's how it went down. They did not show up for work. Unexcused. As they often try to kick down at the working class of this country and talk about how lazy they are. Can any of them name a job where you could just walk out for six weeks with no excuse and come back and expect to keep your job? Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.